Hey everyone, Joe here. Well, today I wanted to do a video on Canon's picture styles, and I'm also going to give you some examples at the end of the video on how to improve your video and stuff to kind of adjust them. Alright, now the reason I'm doing this is I've been getting a lot of questions from a lot of viewers asking me, hey, can I do a video on this? And that's because, at least with the 5DS and the 5DSR, and of course the new 80D, Canon has actually broke the sharpness down into three more different settings to kind of give people more of a adjustments, more configuration over the sharpness settings to fine tune them to their own personal taste. But, so, let's get in here and kind of go over those a little bit. But before we do, I do want to mention that these absolutely have no effect over RAW. However, they will affect the histogram at the, uh, on your camera. So, you may want to, you know, use like a neutral setting if you're just shooting RAW just to kind of get a better idea of what's going on when you look at the histogram. And they also do affect video. So, if you're shooting raw, but don't care about the picture styles, but if you go to shooting a video, do, uh, do remember that these do affect your video also. And of course, they also affect JPEGs. So, let's get in here and do a little ex explanation on these uh, behind the camera. Well, let's go in here and take a little, uh, real close look at the picture styles. So I'm going to open up uh, first well, standard here. Now notice we have the basics here. We have sharpness, which is now broke down to strength, fineness, and threshold. We also have our cons uh, contrast, which is normal, saturation, and color tone. Now, color tone can shift the hues of the uh, photos, so you may not want to adjust those. Saturation, of course, can oversaturate or undersaturate your image. Of course, contrast lowers the contrast and it raises it. Now, sharpness is kind of broke down in three new things. You know, strength is like the amount. Fineness is about like the... Uh, radius so you can increase it or decrease it depending on your own personal taste and threshold is more or less like masking now i know these can be kind of hard to understand so let's hop over here to adobe lightroom and i can better demonstrate the new sharpness features okay everyone well the best way to explain the new sharpness uh adjustments and stuff is kind of demonstrate them in lightroom now you'll notice over here uh sharpening is mount is basically what strength is or is on the Canon camera. Your fineness here is radius and threshold is masking. This is done exactly in Lightroom as they are done in the camera. And this really helps you to really refine uh, your camera settings, free 20 lens or your shooting style. So I'm gonna go ahead and explain the sharpness to them. I'm also gonna demonstrate it here in Lightroom. So I have a photo here of Rose May. And I thought it'd be really good to kind of demonstrate here. So let's kind of zoom in on the eye. So we're gonna first you'll go through the mount here. This big lot of strength. And you can see we turn up the mount all the way to, and the strength gets really strong. Now the camera does this also. You know, by default it's about 25. And that's kind of helps you know counteract the anti-alias and filter inside the camera. Now, radius is something else you want to watch here. So you pull the radius up. And you can see a lot more of the detail kind of got more robust, kind of darker, especially at the eyelashes and the eyebrows. Let me press the Alt key, Option key here, and kind of pull that slider back. And we kind of give a black and white version of it sit here. As you can see, it, the radius makes the, uh, the fineness here much stronger. And if we reduce it, you know, the fineness becomes more, you know, thinner, smaller. Basically, uh... You really want to adjust this for the size of the file that could be using. If you're going to have really small uh, photos and stuff, or your uh, lens is kind of soft, you'll probably want to go uh, pretty high on the finest. But uh, if you get like a higher resolution lens or whatever, you know, you could probably go down pretty low to, a, you know, one of the lower settings, which is what I really recommend. Okay. So now we have threshold. Now threshold is just like masking. As you can see right now, uh, this shows you that everything white is what's having sharpening applied. And if we go all the way to, uh, say, 100 here, which would be like the maximum of threshold, you can see that uh, the sharpening is only applied to the most uh, uh, edges that have the most contrast. So you want to kind of adjust this to kind of you know, fit each one of your photo styles. Something like architecture, you may want to go pretty low on the threshold. But if you're doing something like a uh, portrait stuff, you may want to go, you know, kind of high. That way, it keeps a lot of the sharpening off the skin and can make your skins look a bit softer. 
So, you know, that's a good uh, example to show you how to use it. Let's see, pull that threshold a little bit here, a little detail, excuse me, which will also be your uh, radius. And we can apply this. I mean, you can see it starts looking pretty decent. And you can kind of adjust these in your camera to get this same effect. Because this, like I said, it's exactly the same in Lightroom as it is. The only difference is Lightroom also has detail, which is not used. So, but anyway, I hope this really helps explain the, the uh, sharpness settings on the new can, uh, cameras. Okay, everyone. So let's go over the video settings that I think are you know, worth the best for the Canon DSLR. Okay, now but I'm going to point out this can a change depending on your lens and stuff. So you may have to fine tune these and of course adjust them to your own personal taste. Now the first one here I'm going to show you is what I think is best for vlogging. So let me go ahead and open that one up. You can do that with pressing info. Okay. So here we go. Now that the strength on the sharpness I have set to six. However, you'll notice I have the finest here, which is the radius. I have lowered down to only two. And of course, threshold, I have set to three. And I think this is really the best settings for the sharpness to work with a higher uh, lens, grade uh, lenses. Now, if you're using the factory uh, kit lens, you may want to adjust these more back close to already the factory defaults. However, I use like the, the Sigma you know, 18 to 35 arc quite a lot. So these settings do seem to work the best for me. Now over contrast, you'll notice I have my lowered one notch. Because I think the camera's contrast is just a pinch too high. And I kind of like a little bit lower it just a little bit. It kind of feels like it helps with the dynamic range. And then of course, saturation. I don't like having the covers being blown out. And it's always easy to adjust these in case they are a little too low. But I like to lower it just one notch. And of course, color tone, I'll leave set to the default. So I think that works the best for video vlogging and stuff. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at the one I think is the best for if you kind of can do any kind of like a grading and stuff. Now, there is no S-Log for the Canon uh, DSLRs at the moment. So what I like to go is go down here into neutral. And this is one I got set up myself. Okay, now you notice the sharpening I have set you know, fairly low here. Oh, it is zero. Now, this is cause I'm going to add all the sharpening that I can in post. So there really is very little sharpening added here. And of course, the finest I have lowered, uh, you know, set really low also, just to two, and threshold to two also. Of course, with it being set to zero on the strength, it shouldn't be hardly any at all, if any, applied. Okay. Now you'll notice I have the contrast lowered completely. So if I need to add any sharpening or contrast, I'll be doing this in uh, post-processing. And of course, also saturation, I have lowered one notch because it's always easy to boost the saturation back, but you don't want to remove too much color data because you can't replace it if, if you uh, remove it completely. And of course, colored tone, I have set to zero at the default. Okay, everyone. Well, I hope this explained a few things about the Canon pic, uh, Canon's new picture styles and stuff. I know this has kind of confused a lot of folks, and so I thought I'd do a little video on it, kind of explain a little bit for everybody. So if you do like this video and you found it helpful, how about give me a thumbs up? Thumbs up is always highly appreciated. If you're not a subscriber to my channel, be sure to subscribe. Subscribing is free. It's for you. and let you know when I release more videos. Until next time, everyone. Thank you for watching.